This, believe it or not, is a ballistics calculator and it sits right on your wrist where you can see it at any given time and it has loaded on it what is probably the best ballistic software in the world. This is the Garmin Fortrex 701 with applied ballistics and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So we are back in the man cave with another gear update and we're going to be talking about ballistics calculators today and more specifically the Garmin Fortrex 701 with applied ballistics. Now ballistics calculators have become an absolute integral part of my kit over the past few years especially since I've started shooting with uh, centerfire rifles or hunting with centerfire rifles at long range like past 700 yards because you cannot take risks um, shooting an animal at that range. You want to be able to put it down ethically and in order to do that you need the help of ballistics calculators that can take atmospheric conditions and wind conditions into account and give you an accurate uh, firing solution. So that's where all of this stuff comes in. It is pretty expensive gear so if you're on a super tight budget it might not be what you're looking for but if you are interested in long range hunting you're gonna have to just spend the money and, and get it done because there's no other way of doing it. Yes you can use range cards but even then you need something that can tell you what your barometric pressure is, what your humidity is, what your temperature is, what your wind speed, wind direction is, all of that stuff and in order to do that you're going to need to get the right kit. Now I have a fair bit of experience when it comes to ballistics calculators because I've really started right at the bottom and I've kind of worked my way up over the years and I now have some really really good equipment. I've you know followed the path of most people where I start off with basic range cards that you get from uh, either ballistic software like um, Sherlock Pro or Chegun Pro or JBM Ballistics and then you print it out and you have your range cards that you use around but I found the problem with that is that you, you can't take real-time conditions into account or if you do you've got to have many 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 cards and you've got to pick the right one for your conditions and that's really really not ideal. So I eventually moved on to software on my phone. I got an app called Sherlock Pro, which I would still suggest to this day. It's absolutely awesome. It does everything you need to do for a very low cost. Um, the one issue I had with Sherlock Pro though, is that it didn't give me real time atmospheric conditions as I, as I needed them. For example, if I wanted to know the temperature, I would have to go online and find the temperature, or you know, I would have to, if I wanted to know the, the wind speed, I'd have to use an external wind meter. So I ended up getting a weather flow wind meter, which is also a great bit of kit. Um, the original one had a, a headphone jack, which plugged into your phone, which allowed you to read the wind. And I would still highly recommend that if you've got a phone with a headphone jack, but when I got my iPhone 7, no more headphone jack. This is the Bluetooth version, so it still works with Sherlock Pro, but I was not happy with the fact that I had to connect it every single time I wanted to take a wind reading. So I ended up upgrading to a Caldwell wind meter, which is quite an inexpensive wind meter. And it did the job. I could get uh, barometric pressure readings, I could get temperature, I could get humidity, and I could obviously get the, the wind. And then I would use this with Strelok Pro to find a firing solution and it worked fantastic, but it wasn't a streamlined process. It's something that took time and when you're hunting, you do not always have time. It's one thing shooting gongs, but hunting is a different story. So I ended up, uh, when I came second at the Extreme Bench Rest two years ago, I had quite a decent uh, amount of prize money and I went to Bass Pro and I bought a Kestrel, what is this one? Kestrel 5700, I think, with applied ballistics. Now this is one of the top of the range wind meters. This thing, batteries last forever. It literally reads everything you need to know from you know all your atmospheric conditions to the wind and everything. And it has a compass in it and applied ballistic software. So you can actually take a wind reading and then you can take a reading of what direction you're shooting and it will tell you what your uh, calculation is for spin drift, for aerodynamic jump with the wind, for all of that stuff. And it gives you a firing solution straight on here and updates the atmospheric conditions in real time and allows you to take a shot from there, which is awesome. The problem with this though is again, you've got to keep it with you and keep it around and all that stuff. Not, I don't have an issue with it, it works fantastic, 
but when I got the opportunity to try out the Garmin and I realized it has the same software as my Kestrel but it's right on my wrist that was really really cool and this in working with the Kestrel is a fantastic combination I really really like it obviously the downside of the Garmin is that it doesn't read your atmospheric conditions or your wind which is why you have to actually buy an anemometer or weather station to work with it it's, it can't be it can't work in isolation which you know you could say is a bit of an issue but for someone who wants to have a streamlined process when shooting this seems to be the way to go i actually filmed a hunting video recently where i took this out and i was shooting pigeons at about 100 meters and i was able to use the the range card function on here where I could have my drop data on here and what I would do is I would update it every hour or so with the wind conditions and with the atmospheric conditions and you know as they changed as it heated up or as the wind picked up or died down and I would put the wind at 90 degrees and from there I could interpolate what the actual you know wind hold would be so for example if the wind was coming from 45 degrees instead of 90 I could halve the wind value that it gave me for that particular range or if I was shooting in a slight incline angle I would just take off a little bit from whatever it's telling me to dial for elevation so this helped a lot with that and it meant that I could keep my Kestrel in my pocket and only take it out when I needed to take a very very long shot that required precise adjustments and that was awesome to use now obviously the Garmin does have other functions as well it's got GPS so you can use it for that and obviously it tells the time <laughs> which is fantastic but obviously you're not gonna buy it purely for telling the time or purely for GPS if you're spending so much more on the ballistics version. So I'm not really gonna focus on that other stuff. Plus I don't really know anything about the other functions. I've only really looked at the, Jeep, at the um, ballistics functions. But I do wanna warn you, as well as this works for calculating ballistic solutions, you cannot use it in isolation. You have to have uh, a weather station that you can use to enter the information you need to calculate. So it's a fantastic calculator, but it doesn't read the conditions for you. You need to get something else. The reason I would suggest going all out and getting a Kestrel um, with applied ballistics is the fact that um, you've got the same software on both of them. So it's easy to move the information from one over to the other and know that you're going to get the exact same firing solution and if you don't have time to use this you can always use this and if you don't have time to use this you can always take the conditions from the Kestrel input them into the Garmin and know you're going to get the exact same firing solution so together it's a fantastic combination and I would highly highly recommend it and I will put links down below to both of these products so you can check them both out because it's the ultimate combination in my opinion if there's one downside, uh, in all honesty, I would probably say it's the ergonomics. It's a little bit awkward to have on your wrist. It's a little bit thick and big. Um, it's not something you'd wear all the time like you would with a normal watch. And you wouldn't really want to wear it all the time either because obviously with all the functions it has, <laughs> yeah, it's not made to, to use to tell what time of day it is. You, you're going to want something else for that. But, you know, it's a little bit awkward. You can't move your wrist up because it's a little bit uncomfortable. It's not something you'd want to... Uh, sleep with or walk around with in a shopping mall um, and the strap let's be honest the strap is very poor for something of this price um, I would expect something that costs this much to have a, a more comfortable strap or at least a strap that looks better this one's basically a piece of velcro um, so I would you know if I was Garmin I would really look at updating that and I would also suggest considering having a mount for the top of your scope or for someone on your on your rifle that you can easily look at. If you're using this for ballistics purposes, it makes sense to have a mount that can easily attach to a rifle. I think it would not only be really practical because you're looking at it all the time while you're dialing or or holding, and you can look at you know real time uh, ballistics charts if your target changes from one distance to another. Let's say you're lining up on an animal and it's walking 10 meters further. You don't have to pull your wrist up again and look at it. You can actually just glance over to your chart and take a look at that. And it would be a simple thing to design. It's basically like an attachment for a, you know, a bicycle uh, computer, a cycle computer that goes on your bicycle. It just needs to be the other way around for your scope. It should be easy to design and I suppose there's a challenge out there for any of you who, 
can 3D print stuff, you know, make a attachment for the Garmin that I can put on my gun and send it to me and I'll try it out. It should go. be pretty cool. Here's a quick look at what the Garmin can show you. If I page down here, you're going to see all kinds of interesting information that can help taking a long shot. I think this one is set up for 100 meters with my FX impact shooting slugs. So you can see it gives me elevation, gives me windage. Really, really useful. I can also select an option called range card. I click on it and there's my holdover chart right there, including the one at different distances. And that is probably the feature that I like most because it's time consuming to enter new information about the distance, but it's very quick to glance at your range card at quick distances and just dial your scope or hold for wind from there. Very, very easy. So that's the Fortrek 701 with applied ballistics. I'm sure you're going to see this more on my channel in the future in hunting videos because it's an awesome piece of kit. It makes life much easier if you don't want to glance at your um, Kestrel the whole time or put it out of its case or anything. Um, so I'm sure you're going to see it. And um, yeah, remember to look at the links below to local places in South Africa where you can get this stuff and overseas places as well. Remember, if you buy something through an affiliate link from Amazon, it does actually help support my channel. So that's a great way to support me. If you don't want to, you know, pay me through Patreon or anything like that, you can actually just buy through my links. It helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.